stretch of Interstate 40 west of Oklahoma City on the way to Amarillo. I'm uh, passing through some ranch country. Lots of Indian reservations. The thing you'll notice about the highways here in Oklahoma, there are no guardrails. Nowhere ever in Oklahoma yet have I seen any guardrails. I suppose they don't have much value in human life and they don't care much about their traffic fatalities. Oh, there's the first one I've seen. That is the first guardrail. It's a rather large wind farm. We just passed the old Route 66 drive-in. Old drive-in movie theater. Been a pretty good breeze today. I had to hold my hat on at the Oklahoma City Memorial. I'm surprised these wind turbines aren't turning any faster than they are. It's encouraging to see a renewable power source out here in oil country. Quite a few turbines here. I'm about 10-12 miles east of Elk City, Oklahoma. I'm in the Texas Panhandle. That's 64 miles uh, outside Amarillo, Texas, which is my destination tonight. And the train has definitely changed. Uh, quite a, a difference from Oklahoma, even. Uh, there are very few trees. And, uh, the trees are, you know, don't grow real tall out this neck of the woods. It's simply too arid. Uh, the weather's been Absolutely beautiful, but very hot to dry. It's, a, it's an interesting terrain. Uh, yesterday coming through southwest Missouri, there are a lot of trees, rolling hills. Today it's just, just very few trees. And uh, a lot of flat, you're beginning to see some some things in the in the land. I wouldn't call them, you know, real the typical things you see in Southwest uh, the United States yet uh, that we see in New Mexico. But some, some interesting stuff uh, over here. some definition in the terrain. So, like the first Oreos I've seen. So it's called Johnson Ranch. We saw the entrance to Johnson Ranch back there a bit. So I guess this is all that ranch. It's uh, definitely becoming some interesting terrain features. Uh, just gives a little something more interesting to look at as I go along. I've been in Texas for a little bit now. We go through the northern panhandle and then uh, spend the night here and then in the morning head out. Cross into New Mexico in maybe an hour, hour and a half. Uh, nice big rest area right over here on the right. Another wind farm. Uh, I've seen some other giant wind farms off in the distance uh, over in Oklahoma. I did pass an oil derrick along the highway also, uh, but the wind 
wind farms definitely seem to be outnumbering the oil rigs as far as what I've been able to see. But the speed limit's here, 70, 75 miles an hour, so you can make some time. You can see there's very little traffic, so you can actually do the speed limit. Build is the world's tallest cross. Sorry for the bouncing there. It's all unsimilar to it in Missouri. People take their religion seriously down here. Just try to find something on the radio that isn't a religious station. That's why I just Turned the radio off this morning and haven't had it on since. Not much to listen to here. It's flat, empty terrain. Not much here. 